Yo, what up everybody? This clips from Team Ruthless and if you guys don't know, PvP drops October 10th. They also announced the rest of the DLC um DLC roadmap is what they're calling it. And with that, I'm going to show you guys how I think is going to be the best approach to make a a PvP PvP build for you. Now, me personally, I, first of all, I don't know why I went to missions. First of all, go with what you're comfortable with. Go with weapons that you like. You can make them work, but it's really easy to just go with what you like. How you like? If you like being fast, if you like being slow, if you like long range, like whatever you do. Like I'm okay. I'm gonna make a long range build for PvP. So first of all, for my site, for my my head i'm gonna go with something that has a good lock on range and firing performance so i'm probably gonna use this and again the the game is pretty easy the game this game is really really casual compared to like armor core armor core you had to do a lot of testing and whatnot bef and kind of know how your mech feels before you go out into the field in this game it's kind of easy what it says, you can usually trust it and just literally hop in the game right after you build the mech and usually get the results you want. So for here, for this, I'm gonna again long range build. Go with this lock on range plus. Uh, I will check the sight size. R310, not bad. Lock on range 294. Now let's look and see if anything. This is a longer lock on range. And it's a bigger site. And it's light. Oh, no, it's heavier. So that's also depends. Do you want a heavy mate? Do you want to have more defense? Are you not that fast? Is your reaction time not that fast? Like, you see everybody flying around. You, If you're not that, don't have a fast reaction time, you might want to make a heavier build. Because you might want to be able to take more hits. Especially if you want to do a long range build. But uh, I'm going to stay with the helmet I got just because I like how it looks. But I probably would have... Actually, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go ahead and go with this because everything besides weight, I think I, I like the stats better. Let's look around. Let's look around. Fire and support. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's back up. Actually, I'm, I'm going to stay with this just because of the firing performance. F it. We're going to go with this for firing support. So, F it. Um... This is probably not a bad one either. This is the one I have on now. I don't know why I have so many, so many slots. That too. Utilize your slots. I don't utilize my slots right now because I'm still kind of playing around with my builds. So I, I'm. It costs money to remove slots. Not much, but I'm. I'm cheap. I'm cheap in real life, so I'm cheap in the game too. Body wise, okay. I'm still going long range build. I personally would go for speed. I have a, I like to say a decent reaction time. I'm probably not the best out there, <laughs> but I'm probably going to go for speed. I'm probably going for this one. Um, actually this, stamina. I want to be able to stay away from my opponents. Which one do I have on right now? This one? Uh, oh, that's the same thing. I might. I need to start selling stuff. This is probably the fastest one I got, but I'm gonna stick with the one I have just because the stamina increase. Processor now. Processor, in my opinion, is like whatever you want. Like I honestly do not not. I don't understand the memory usage in this game, so you guys might have to let me know what that means because I don't know. Um, even if your mech goes over the memory usage, you can still use it. So I don't understand it. My bumblebee goes over it and he works fine, so I don't really get that. So, but I usually go with. Oh, how do I get the weapons? Y'all forget you could just switch with a, a clip. Processor, I'm usually in. I don't have all the processor threes yet, but I'll probably have them all before the PVP drops. 
But we'll go with booster two because I like to. I like to be fast. Actually, I'm gonna go in firing up two, just because this is a sniper build. So I'm gonna stick with that. Arms now. These the built-in arms with the guns are really good, but it kind of limits you from having like being able to switch up. Like I don't think there's any laser arms or anything. So if you have both. You're, you're strictly stuck on bullets if you have both of your arms. I think it's a cool to have a build that does like one gun arm and the other arm to be, you know, just like a normal arm. Just so you can still use three other weapons with one arm. But it's totally up to you. Um, the dual machine gun arms do a lot of damage. So, but it's totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to stick with arms because I, I like to switch my weapons up. So I'm probably gonna go with something reload speed and precision. I might go or fire rate. These sword breaker arms are pretty good for. These are probably my favorite arms in the game, but they're pretty. Uh, from what I have, they're probably my favorite arms in, in terms of, being able to switch up between guns and melee. I do like reload. Reload speed definitely makes a difference. All right, so I'm gonna stick with this. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing with my left arm. I need to farm for more arms because I'm pretty sure there's probably better options out there. Legs, I'm gonna go with speed still. Because I wanna be fast. Are these really my best legs? I'm pretty sure I have better ones. Nope. These are my fastest legs. Land. Now, the, the, the land boost speed, you're barely on land. So, I wouldn't look at, focus on that too much. So, I'm actually, I would look at the, these are fast, but I might actually go with something else. I might go with. Let's see what I can find. Think about doing recovery time. I might go with recovery time. Because if you when you hit the ground, you can boost off. You're usually not on the ground very often. Actually, I'm gonna go with diesel. I'm gonna go with these Evit. I don't think legs are as important as they are in like armor core games. All right, so weapons, I'm gonna go with snipers. I think a sniping build will be good for PVP. Now, what I've noticed in this game is that reload speed is way faster than uh, fire rate for some reason. You rather have a gun with one bullet in the chamber than you rather a uh, gun with two bullets in the clip. So, let me see. What's the bullet damage, bullet speed? Yeah, so magazine ammo. I'd go for, yeah, you see how these have five? I'd go with one of the fail knots because they all have one bullet. And then uh, I usually go for most damage. Now, this is PvP and I like to be a little adaptable. I am probably going to go with the Grim Reaper Auto. Eh, I don't think I'm going to go with the Auto. I might stick with uh, one of the assault rifles. The assault rifles in this game are really good. Actually, I'm gonna go with the the lost heart. I'm gonna go with that. Shorter weapon. I'm gonna go missiles. Hmm. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go with this. They're kind of slow, but I do like the range on them. I'm not gonna go with Hermes. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Trap Mines. Don't sleep on Trap Mines. Like I think they're gonna be really effective in PvP, especially against people who use melee builds or shotguns. If they try to come up to you, you just drop a couple of Trap Mines, and they're eating all that. People tell me the Radar Gem is really good, but. I'm, I should be playing pretty far back, so I shouldn't need it. Now, again, PvP, I'm going to have a laser. Just in case they're weak to it. And laser-wise, I don't like to charge lasers. I go with the highest damage. I'm probably going to use this one. I actually never used this. This sounds kind of cool. But I'm not going to use it. And it's all about experimenting, guys. Like, see what works. Like, see what you, what what feels right for you, man. Like, and then definitely play around. And then I might actually have some firepower just, just cause. People tell me the handguns. Oh, I forgot I had this. Another build. Another build. But yeah, play around, man. See, the memory is a little above, but so I'm a little slow. I'm a little durable, which is fine. I could probably still play keep away. I kind of wish I was a little bit faster. It's probably all the weight because I have a lot of guns right now. But f it. Ammunition is kind of lackluster, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. We're just gonna have to go find out. All right, so let's go find out how this does against other arsenals. All right, so let's test this, bro. So I can play pretty far back with this build. Oh, shit. I do kind of wish I was a little faster. Until PvP drops, this is pretty much going to be the best way to test your build against other, like, mechs or arsenals. He's running around a sword. With this build, I would... He'd have to play really aggressive. And if I see him coming, I could just keep, keep backing up and firing at him. I don't know if I like these missiles. I kind of wish my sight was a little bigger too. This guy is fast though. These missiles are way too big. I don't like them, man. My mech's a little too heavy for me. I don't really like how... You see how long it takes me to move again after I hit the ground? See, I should not be letting him get close. He's on a melee build. And I have a sniper. I'm already almost out of ammo with my snipers. So that's not good. So maybe it would be better if I use the uh, the ammo replenisher. 
and it kind of, once I ran out of ammo with my sniper, it kind of made this build a little less effective because I literally created them to stay back and now I gotta get a little bit closer. Took them out, but you know, computers are kind of easy. Bro. There we go. Wait. Alright, there we go. This guy's annoying. He moves around too much. How do you get over there? He threw a grenade at me. How rude. Now, the thing I don't like about rocket launchers is if you hit somebody, they get like stun log and you can't do the damage until they recover. Probably a good thing, but I don't like it. Also, pay close attention to your map. Like, if you lose sight of somebody, look at the radar. And you can kind of figure out where they are. He's just standing there. Now, people online might be more annoying. I'm mad at her name, still hit me. This guy's annoying. I'm... That took way too long. But yeah, like, just play around with stuff. You know, see what what's works for you. This build does not work for me. <laughs> I don't care about this stuff. I made it a little too heavier, but yeah, definitely like play around, feel with, feel, fill it out. Like, see what you think about your own mech, how you feel, how, you, how it runs. If it feels good to you, then try it out. Go to PvP. And don't take it personal if you lose. Like, somebody might just have a better, not better build, but it might just counter your build. Like, don't get all butt hurt. Also, if y'all don't know where the painting is, uh, the sta uh, stairs, the decals here. There's one here. There's one on the roof. Where is it? It's up here somewhere. 
And then there's a shield. Let's see if I can get to it. There's a shield down here under one of these. I think it's on the other side. But yeah, someone might just have a build that counter yours. Like it's gonna be fun finding out works for you. Um, I'm gonna try to go with an all-around build that kind of covers everything. But it depends. Maybe if I have a cool, a dope partner who focuses on one thing, I'll make a build to counter that. But it should be fun, man. PVP drops two weeks. I'm hype and can't wait to see some of you guys out there in the field. <laughs> But yeah, take it easy. I'm out. Deuces. I just want to hit y'all. This is probably the, the helmet I have one to is probably the best helmet for um, melee combat just because it's a very wide square. Anything I look at.